Hello and welcome to this course on Cloudera Hadoop administration. My name is Sajesh and we will be learning Cloudera Hadoop installation in the first part. So I am using Amazon Web Service as cloud platform and deploying the virtual machine in Amazon AWS. So you can choose any cloud platform or on-premise or virtual machine in your system to do the installation. So as a first step, open the browser and log in to aws.amazon.com so if you have not already registered so please do register with your id and let me log in to this uh, aws console so use your credentials once prompted so type the password and i have a uh, authentication uh, enabled extra authentication so it's prompting to type that authentication code so let me type that okay and then sign in so here you have option to create virtual machine so from the compute select ec2 uh, then i don't have any instance running so let me launch instance from here then uh, we have lot of options to select ami so i am choosing community ami and searching with the id which i already chose so all this ami id so this will behave in a slightly different way so the one which i already validated and it's a centos 7.4 so I'm choosing that as my virtual machine select and choose the configuration. So I'm selecting T2 large, which is two core CPU and eight gig RAM. So you can choose any higher end or lower end based on your requirement. So I'm okay with this and selecting and just next configure. So how many number of instance initially you want? So I'm choosing as five so three worker node and two master and the network and the subnet and uh, the other thing i am selecting as default okay and uh, all those things uh, leaving as default and the storage by default only five gig available so let me make it to 50 gig and uh, we have a hard disk option like we can have magnetic or ssd so ssd will be faster so choose that and click delete on termination the next is add tag so just adding the tag so tag name is honor just uh, Hadoop engineering so this is the mail id and you can have like purpose or multiple tags you can have so this tags helps you to identify the machine if you have a large set of machines you can see that who has created and what is the purpose so net is the next is the network security group or we call as a security group so this is basically a firewall that allows or restrict the connection uh, connectivity with the virtual machine so you can have a new firewall created or choose an existing uh, group so let me choose Udemy Cloudera and uh, open the port whatever you need. So I'm opening all the port but this is not a good practice. So if you are uh, working in an enterprise level so you have to open only the port that you need to expose with outside. But in my case I'm okay because this is completely a testing environment. And any description you can add here it's like a wide open access only for test so the reason why I open all the port is whenever I need to uh, connect a port that is in running in this system I may need to open that so I don't want to do each and every time when I need so I'm opening that so especially this is a completely testing environment so i can open all the traffic here so not a problem then the next is 
review and this is the details about the vm we have we are going to launch and then go ahead and hit this launch button and this is the key creation part so we can create public private key pair based authentication and you can have a key created and uh, you can choose an existing key or create a new key so let me save it as udemy underscore cloudera and download this key so this will download a p a file with a pem extension you can copy that pem file and convert into ppk file that putty support so if you are using a unix or mac based system you can use this pem machine to connect the servers okay i have already downloaded that then launch instance and you can see view instance uh, so all the machines are identical configuration let me add some name so master 1 master 2 so this is uh, worker 1 worker 2 and uh, worker 3 so these are the machines I have provisioned so it takes some time so to initialize at that time so let me uh, copy that PEM file which I have downloaded and open so go to the download and uh, or copy this file then save it into desktop and save it inside like I said so this is in PEM extension our putty software won't support this so you need another software that is called putty gen so you can download this software with free of cost so go to Google and download this Potagen software and run this. So I'll have to load this PEM file and regenerate this PPK file. Just file, load private key and go to the desktop. Then search with the Udemy Cloudera key and here you have to change it to all files and then select that open. That's it. And then save private key okay without passphrase i don't want any passphrase for this file yes fine and uh, this is ppk file you dummy cloud error okay so that is enough then save close it so now you got a file called ppk so this file will, can be used along with the uh, putty to connect uh, this virtual machine but if you are using linux based system as a client or mac os you can use this pem file so now let me uh, get this ip address of this host so every host we have provided public and private ip address so the public ip or public dns you can use for connecting through internet okay so this is the public ip use that okay and uh, open putty use this IP address then go to the SSH auth then browse go to the desktop then search with Udemy Cloudera key and select this private key that's it then go ahead and hit open click yes once prompted type the username I think this instance is using username as root some other uh, AMI may be using uh, the username like EC2 user Ubuntu it all depends on the AMIs okay, so I think uh, something went wrong let me try it again authentication root 
okay so this is uh, not a root so this is i have to use centos for this let me duplicate from here itself and uh, use centos okay so now i am able to root and sudo su yes that is i am able to do so i can increase the font size and little bit and for go to the appearance and uh, increase the font size that's it also i can change the color to system color if you are okay with that white color so similarly i would be able to connect each and every machine in this uh, environment using this public ip or public dns and can use the same private key hope you like this content we will continue the prerequisite configuration in the next video